Hi, Maya. Hello, <clears throat> Minla. So we're going to talk about your cleanse at Hacienda del Sol. You are nearly finished now. So how's it been for you? It has been overall incredible. I was just speaking with someone else and saying that I don't feel hungry at all. And in fact, I wish I had made the space to come for the 10 day uh, cleanse, not just the seven day. It's been truly amazing and uh, I guess renewing for me and a sort of getting reacquainted with that inner self that I think that I am. But when you're, there's this cognitive dissonance that happens at home. You think you follow certain practices in your life, but really you're far from where you think you are, at least I am, in terms of exercise, yoga, meditation, eating the right foods. And coming here is really just like saying hi to that healthy, vibrant being that lives inside of, of all of us. And so it's been absolutely a blessing and a delight and a pleasure and a and um, I guess profoundly renewing on many levels. Did you have a certain intention for coming? <sighs> My intention was to cut through the clutter of my life, cut through what my life has become in this typical, maybe American, maybe European, I don't know, typical Western life of being busy, busy, busy all the time. There's always something else to do. And I'm a person who tends to take on a lot and always have a lot going on, um, you know, multiple uh, job aspects and multiple lifestyle passions, children and a husband. And so I just felt myself breaking down. I was coming to a point where I was unable to do anything but go through my day and get done the things that needed to get done and that was coming with increasingly um, more frequent headaches, more frequent emotional outbursts and so coming for me was just to take a step back, take a break and really again meet myself again in a space that is safe and that is healthy and that is just promoting of, of well-being on all levels and I didn't do a lot of research. This was kind of uh, a pared down summer uh, thing for me. First I was going to take a month to Peru to do a yoga teacher training. That plan was hatched about six months ago and then that didn't seem practical. Then I was going to take three days in Guatemala for a yoga teacher training slash permaculture workshop. That didn't wasn't feasible either and so I reached this point where I just said wait a minute, what I really need, and one of my children was going to go with me on both of those journeys, I said, I really just need something that is for me. I need to cleanse, and I knew that I, from my own history, I had had trouble doing juice fasting um, at home. I said, I'd always been saying for years, I need to be someplace where there's nothing else that I have to do. I can just focus on the juicing and the cleansing and the caring for myself. And so I just started Googling uh, cleansing, yoga, and Hacienda del Sol came up and really from the moment I saw Minla's face and I saw the vibe of the place, it was it was this just intuitive whoosh, like, that's it, that's it, I'm getting goosebumps right now. And it, it really has been it for me. I feel just amazing uh, to have shared in this experience and with the other people that I've met and again with Minla, who's just simply divine. It's how do you think you can sustain this when you get back to your busy life? Uh, well, that's the trick, right? So um, it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be that constant reminding myself of finding my center. And I got I was received a good analogy of taking myself deep, deep as the bottom of the ocean and rooting there. So no matter what chaos is swirling around me, I'm able to find that center and through one of our meditations I got an image that also helps me with that uh, that chaos which is this like I can be still and I can just have this and I don't have to take it all in because we take so much in that we're unaware of from other people's emotions to energies to words to who knows maybe even the Wi-Fi or you know whatever we take it all in so that will be one of my my totems I guess and that is not the only thing though. I am um, going to get back to seeing my acupuncturist because I'm going to make the time and make the space in my budget. 
I know that it helps and I'm going to not just in my mind think, oh, I'm a healthy eater. I'm such a healthy eater that I moved to start an organic farm. Well, lo and behold, if you're so crazy and busy, you might think you're eating a lot better, but you're actually popping like Amy's Organics frozen food burrito in the oven and then eating it and it's not the same. So to get refreshed with that feeling of being free of, of just that toxic lifestyle, um, I'm going to be more organized about meal preparation. I'm going to make a list once a week about what we need in the house and what we're having for dinner, lunch, and breakfast each night. I'll probably fall off that wagon a bit, but if this house is stocked up, it will be much easier. Um, I'm going to learn more raw food recipes, po possibly get a, not possibly, definitely get a dehydrator, and really check in with myself before I take on something new or feel like I have to activate on another idea. Just get back in touch with my inner voice on all levels. And I think this has reminded me as well um, through some of the many wonderful people that I've met here um, that we have to put ourselves at the top of our to-do list because if we're not there then everything, you can't do anything else well. If I'm not well, then there's no way that my kids and even my husband can be really well. Um, so, so it's I, a lifestyle change. It's a lifestyle <clears throat> change. Not just a healthy diet. There's a, a lot to, more to it, hey? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, thank you so much. I'm very happy you've been here. And you did your liver cleanse? And uh, you feel better. That's important. I did my liver cleanse, and the liver cleanse was very, um, as was the whole cleansing process. It felt not just cleansing my body, but cleansing old emotional and physical traumas as well. You somehow you access them when you're cleansing, and they come up, and you recognize them. And when you recognize them through all these cleansing processes, I think we're able to. Um, at best, we're able to release them. And if we don't have them quite released yet, we're just acknowledging and we're giving them some love and then we're able to work through them versus thinking, yes, everything's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're Enjoy, welcome. and I hope you come back here again sometime. I will certainly be back here. Thank you so much for having this space and it's just really wonderful. Yeah, if you anyone who is uh, desiring to cleanse or, or having this sense of just being out of balance and wanting to do something to address it, do whatever you can to come to Hacienda del Sol.